From the outside, a route may look like this, but internally a route is organized into several distinct regions, each with specific functions essential for the plant's growth, nutrient absorption, and stability. Let's examine the primary regions and tissues typically present in a root. To begin, let's focus on the primary region, where five regions are typically found in a root. The first one is root cap. The root cap is the very tip of the root. It protects the delicate meristematic cells behind it as the root pushes through the soil. It also secretes mucilage to ease the root's movement through the soil and is involved in gravity perception. Next is root apical meristem. It is located just behind the root cap and contains actively dividing cells responsible for the growth in length of the root. It produces new cells that differentiate into various tissues. The third zone of the cell division is just above the root apical meristem. This is the region where cells are actively dividing to provide new cells for root growth. The fourth one is the zone of elongation. It is above the zone of cell division. Here, cells produced in the meristem elongate, pushing the root tip further into the soil. This region primarily contributes to the increase in root length. The last one is the zone of differentiation or maturation. It is above the zone of elongation. Here, cells differentiate into specialized cell types, forming the various tissues of the root. Root hairs develop in this zone, which increases the surface area for water and nutrient absorption. Roots contain specific types of cells that form part of the primary regions and have specialized functions. The first one is epidermis. The epidermis is the outermost layer of cells in the root. It absorbs water and minerals from the soil. Root hairs, which are extensions of epidermal cells, significantly increase the surface area for absorption. Next to the epidermis is the cortex. It is located between the epidermis and the vascular cylinder. The cortex consists of parenchyma cells that store food and transport water and nutrients from the root hairs to the vascular tissues. Endodermis is the innermost layer of the cortex. It acts as a selective barrier that regulates the movement of water and nutrients into the vascular cylinder. It contains the Casparian strip, a band of cell wall material impregnated with subarin and lignin, which forces water and dissolved substances to pass through the cell membranes rather than between cells. Next to the endoderms is the vascular cylinder. It is the central part of the root, surrounded by the endodermis. The vascular cylinder contains the vascular tissues that transport water, nutrients, and food throughout the plant. The pericycle is the outermost layer of the vascular cylinder, just inside the endodermis. It is involved in the formation of lateral roots. Xylem transports water and dissolved minerals from the roots to the rest of the plant. In many roots, the xylem forms a star-shaped pattern in the center. Phloem transports organic nutrients, particularly sugars, from the leaves to other parts of the plant. Phloem cells are located between the arms of the xylem star in many roots. Pithus the central part of the vascular cylinder in monocot roots. It is composed of parenchyma cells, which serve for the storage of nutrients. So, the internal structure of a root is intricately designed to ensure the efficient uptake and transport of water and nutrients, support the plant, and store food. Each region and tissue type within the root plays a crucial role in these processes, contributing to the overall health and growth of the plant. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and thanks for watching.